Good morning, everybody. On today's episode of Fitchell's Garage, we are doing another unboxing. And not just any unboxing, but a double unboxing. Brought to you by Cooler Work. Um, pretty much shift systems. And we got two different style shifters to unbox today because I am super excited. One's for the Mark IV GTI, and then one's for the Corrado. So let's get unboxing because this is Beach House Garage. So since we have two boxes to uh, unbox and show off the product, we're gonna do the best we can. Shout out, Crows! Do the best we can to show you guys what we're gonna have here. So number one, uh, the box is gonna look identical, but they're actually different products right off the bat. Um, one's gonna be called the bottom mount and one's gonna be called the top mount. Now for the stock Mark IV GTI, you wanna get a bottom mount style. And then for older chassis styles like Mark IIs, Corrados, Mark III's, um, you wanna get a top mount. The top mounts are cooler looking, don't get me wrong, but the bottom mounts are just as good. Now, I don't remember what box is what. I did open them to display these at SoCal Euro because these are going to be products that we're going to be showing off uh, pretty much in our car. So let's get opening them and I'll show you guys what's inside. So one thing's right off the bat that when I opened these last time, the um, packaging is phenomenal. They use actually uh, proper um, shape foam. So when these go in and they get pressed, they shape pretty much to the to the device itself or whatever you're trying to ship. Very, very nice. Nicely, they contour to everything. So I love these. So this is right here is the top mount for the Corrado. You are using an O2J shift box. Remember that, guys. For an O2J, not for uh, an O2M, an O2A. Uh, O2J, so the five-speed transmission. Um, so remember that. Gosh, these stupid crows. So they got the reverse lock out here, and then pretty much left and right movement, front and back. So that's this one right here. So that looks freaking gorgeous. And these crows are annoying. All right, now that I solved my crow problem, now I'm back to work. Okay, so now we're on um, the next unbox. Now remember guys, this is the top mount. Now we're gonna show you guys the bottom mount style. This is the one that's actually going in my Mark IV. Sorry, excuse my hair by the way guys, I got lots of it. So if you guys don't know who they are, Cooler Work. This is a really cool company, Cooler Work. Look them up, great products, and they're not in the US, they're outside of the US. Um, so, definitely uh, worth it. I'm telling you guys that right now. So, they give you right here instruction manuals. So, make sure you keep that with you. And now, this is the one that's going in the GTI. Again, they're foam. Uh, packaging is phenomenal so same thing oh, use my wood there we go so same thing really really nice um, harder shifts I like this um, it's all spring loaded here left and right freaking I love that sensation it's got a really nice spring like tension to it uh, reverse right here pretty cool um, there are adjustments on the left and right right here to adjust your linkage uh, correctly or accordingly. So this is something we're going to learn how to do today. Um, here is your shift tunnel. So yeah, I mean these are assembled beautifully. Uh, the shift knob, you have an option to just unscrew it and swap it out for something different. I already got something uh, different in mine already. I like this shift knob, but it's a little too small for my hands. I don't have petite hands. My hands are pretty big. Uh, I use a different uh, shift knob. So I'm gonna get a swap this out for something new. But yeah, man, um, 
I'm excited for this. Again, uh, Cooler, CoolerRx.com is the company that you wanna definitely look up. Super, super cool product. They're not that heavy in comparison to the factory box. They're actually about the same weight, maybe a tad bit heavier or lighter. Um, so I'm actually, uh, again, I'm pretty impressed with the workmanship here uh, and how everything works. It's really, really nice. So, I know that the reverse is over like that, but now we just have a little lever to do it. It's pretty cool. So, I'm very curious on how this turns out once I get it all done and uh, assembled and done. But I want to show you guys pretty much this, this product because it's so cool. Same over here. Again, this is for the top mount um, style. So similar product uh, to this, but this one mounts on top of your, uh, on your, pretty much your channel. So everything works almost exactly the same as your O2J. It's just a lot higher up. So I'm hoping that this isn't too high. I wouldn't mind it. It looked pretty cool when you're driving. Just this big old blah, blah, blah. So i'm gonna just leave it there for you guys enjoy it admire it new product again uh being installed in our cars thank you guys too for tuning in watching this short unboxing there's not much to to them until you actually install them uh the craftsmanship is pretty legit i am very very impressed uh they're very lightweight materials a lot of aluminum and very minimal steel which i'm very impressed with Aluminum is phenomenal. Um, the machining on everything is is legit, man. I'm, I'm I'm impressed on the machine, the machine work on this. A lot of stuff looks and feels very very precision. So I'm stoked. Thanks again for watching. Peace out and have a wonderful day here. Uh, this is Pinchiao's Garage saying we're gonna break, we're gonna fix, and we're gonna repeat. Peace out, everyone, and have a wonderful day.